The last step is exporting your video. There's a couple of things we can do. We can make a video or an animated GIF. Here's how to do either one. So you're in Moho, you're done with your animation, you're happy with it. It's meeting all the requirements. File, <clears throat> export, animation. There we go, export animation or command or control E. Um, some choices here, you can change the uh, work area if you want to, but it'll take that number that we've already set as the end frame. Uh, we want to make sure that we spend some time with these two right here. Um, the format, you have image sequences, which we don't want. We want either a video or a GIF. We'll do one of each and see how that turns out. So go to video. Most likely this is looking different than yours because they did make some changes here. MP4 is what I want from this render. <clears throat> The, uh, your, your interface should look like mine. Anti-alias edges is an important one. We don't want to render half dimensions or anything. So if those are checked, uh, uh, don't check those. Um, and uh, this is an interesting option, overwrite existing files. If you rendered something and you want to render over it, it's kind of helpful, but um, I usually have that checked. Down here, where do you want to save your file? Same as the folder that you've saved your, your Moho file into. That's a good practice. So that's by default what it has, but you can choose where you want to go from there. You can also choose a name for your file. So mine's called machine. So it adopted the machine.mp4. You can save as default if you want to, or just hit OK. And it's going to pull up a renderer using multiple cores of your computer, and it'll go through its rendering process. My machine, my computer opens this file up in QuickTime, I'm on a Mac. Yours won't do that if you're not on a Mac. It may try to open it in some other program like a media player or whatever. So you, if it doesn't play, then you're gonna have to try to open it in some other program. Um, I can play it right away and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good to me. That is something that I can turn in an MP4. VLC player for PCs is a good one too. So if you know where you saved it to, I saved mine right here because my Moho file is right here. They're both in the same directory. I can say, well, open this with VLC player by doing a right click open with. Try it out. Second option, animated GIF. We don't have any sound here, which we uh, can then maybe make a GIF. Let's try that file, export animation. And instead of video, let's try animated GIF from this list preset of animated GIF, and it's gonna make it a GIF right here. Again, the same directory, hit okay. It's gonna go through that rendering process again. It's gonna look a little different, but it's trying to compile it into one file. Might take a little bit longer. There's my file right there. Again, I put it in the same directory. There it is. If I play it back, there it is. It's an animated GIF, it loops forever. So these are kind of cool. So if you wanted to send it to a friend, if you could get this file to yourself, you could do that as a GIF. So either way, if you're asked for a video file or if you're asked for a GIF, you know how to do both.